Hey everyone, Matt here again, Home Farm Ideas. And um, today, this garden bed here, I'm gonna try and get some of those uh, beetle grubs uh, out of it. Um, as you can see, there's hay and everything mixed in, all in there. And um, uh, they like that kind of stuff. They like leaves and, and all that. And so they kind of congregate in my garden beds. And I don't plant a lot during the winter. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to clear this bed out and put some of the grubs in that little green tub uh, so the chickens can get some grub-a-dub-dub. -dub. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and get some and then uh, we're gonna add them to the grub composter. I guess that's what I'm gonna call it. So anyways, uh, let's get to it. So here we go. Here's the first shovel full and already I found some grubs. Um, there's different kinds though, uh, like these here. These are a different kind. Let me see if I can zero in on this here. Um, these have different legs on them, like longer legs, and uh, they look more creep showish. These, if that's a word, creep showish. Where these, oh, and those other ones there, they'll crawl on their belly. Uh, these are the ones I'm trying to find. Look at those jaws. They will bite you uh, if they can. Um, it doesn't kill you or anything, but it definitely uh, shocks you. Um, so I'm going to drop him. Um, but they crawl on their back. I don't know if he'll demonstrate for us. Um, but basically, I think they're called, like, another name for them is bat crawlers. See, they're just like break dancing. <laughs> See how they do that? And they just kind of chug along like that. But they have different shorter legs in the front there uh, versus these. These have like these long, crusty looking, crazy looking legs. Um, and uh, they crawl on their belly. Um, so I'll, pro I'll try to get that sometime during the video. But right now, I gotta concentrate on getting uh, as many, see here's another one here. I don't know what kind it is. It's one of those other ones. Okay. I'm sorry, the camera is not the best. It's an iPhone, so what do you expect? That's pretty good, actually. So, anyway, we're gonna start adding them to the to the bucket here or to the uh, little tray. So, I'll get back to you when I got a bunch. All right, there we go. So, I uh, I didn't. I mean, I dig dug deep over here, but um, it's kind of lazy over here on this side because um, it was wetter on this side. They prefer like. Uh, drier, moist, uh, not super dry, just moist soil. If it's too wet, they tend to go deeper. Um, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and rake all this back. And in the process of raking this, um, you always find some. Um, but anyway, so I turned all the soil. There's tons of worms in here, which is good. Um, just regular night crawlers and stuff. And uh, now I'm aerated for spring. And uh, soil's turned, and um, sometimes I don't even turn it, but I did this here. And so I'm going to rake all that back, but I'll save you guys that and uh, just show you what I got out of just this one garden bed. And this is my smallest garden bed I have. Um, I think it's like 8 by, by 3. Um, but that one's like 15 by, you know, uh, 3. And then got another one back against the wall there. These are 9-somethings. And then another one over there, nine something. So, anyways, um, yeah, this is what I got out of just the one garden bed. And uh, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference on camera, but I mean, the obvious thing is color right off the bat. And then these other, these other ones just move constantly. Uh, where these other ones that I was telling you about, they don't move a whole lot. Um, and when they do, they crawl in their bellies. So, you hear them? Sounds like snap, crackle, pops. So we probably got about a hundred in here, and uh, I'm gonna feed my chickens these ones, the whiter ones. And uh, I'm gonna, oh look, they all stop. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put these in the uh, <clears throat> grub composter. And uh, these ones will dig down a lot quicker into the grub composter. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pour all those in. 
And then I'll grab the other ones for my chickens because they're ready to eat already. Okay, now consider that was only one uh, planter bed. So um, with all these, um, I at least have about probably 150 in here now of these worms to break down waste. So I'm going to clear out another planter bed um, before spring and I'm going to put all these grubs in here. And then eventually, you'll see, you're just gonna be able to put a pumpkin in here and they'll demolish the whole thing in one night almost. So, um, yeah. So that's my uh, grub composter. So, anyways, new idea. I haven't seen anybody doing it yet. So, anyway, coming to you from Home Farm Ideas, of course, <laughs> where we do psycho stuff like this. But anyway, join us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash home farm ideas and uh, we're doing this all the time all day long so anyway Thank god bless you guys for what you're doing now.